What's up, everybody? Your old pal Sean here at Krusty Customs Garage. Working on the Rambler again today. Um, one of the things that we've been dealing with here, and I'll show you, is that this car came, of course, 1965. They had AM radios in them. And this, uh, this is an AM radio in here, all stock. Um, I've been using this Bluetooth speaker to drive around town and stuff the last few weeks. Well, you know, whoops, I've had about enough of that crap. So what I did is I hit up my buddy Mark down at Wired Customs down in Texas. And he, uh, he always has some stuff kicking around, just some older stuff. This is a Pioneer Bluetooth double din radio that I got a really nice deal on through Mark. Mark's a really nice guy. So even if you're not in Texas, look up Wired Customs with a K for customs, kind of like Krusty Customs. Same spelling with a K, the way it should be. Anyway, this baby is going to go in this car with a couple of speakers. And I didn't want to cut the dash. And a lot of people put the uh, radios in their glove compartment. Well, this glove compartment's about that deep. Most radios, that's not going to work. So we went to plan B. Mark sent this up to me, along with this sweet t-shirt. Thank you, Mark. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this deck right about here in a, in a little custom center console. I'm just going to carpet it black. And I'm going to put a couple speakers below it. And then I'm going to bring that console back this way. And I have this, I don't know if you can see this in the shot. I'll, I'll pick it up. I have this little plastic console thing with cup holders in it. It's basically a junk collector and I hate it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate that and I'm going to bring the console down and then back to the seat here. And I'm going to put a couple uh, cup holders in it. And at the same time, uh, I'm going to, I have a cigarette lighter here. It works perfect for my cell phone recharging. Um, I kind of like how the dash looks with my stock cigarette lighter in there. So what I'm going to do is put a couple, at least one uh, USB, probably a double USB charging port on the passenger side. That way the wife, uh, when she's riding shoddy with me, she can charge her phone, run her tablet, whatever. So what I'm going to do is just get started with the mock-up. I'm going to use three quarter inch MDF on this baby. And um, yeah, like I said, it's just going to sit, it's going to sit kind of like this. And I'm just going to mount it right at the bottom here uh, after the console's all constructed. I'm just going to mount it so that if somebody does get in the car, I'm going to try to make it as difficult as possible for them uh, to try to steal it. So, yeah. So what I'm going to do is get started. So this is where the film speeds up and skips ahead and does all kinds of stuff where I have all the measurements done. My MDF is in there. So I'll just draw it up, cut it out, come out here, do a little side panel test fit. And if it fits well on this side, it's actually identical on the other side. So that's going to make this a real, real easy job uh, cutting the side panel. So let's get started. Yeah, let me just uh, get to work. So I'm just going to do some measuring. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll stop the video here and I'll skip ahead to where I have everything all drawn up. All right, so here we are inside the Krusty Customs garage. And just real quickly, I figured out where I wanted my first measurement to be, or my first panel, I should say. I decided, yes, I know, shop cat, you're hungry. I already fed you and gave you some milk. So basically what this is going to be, if you can hopefully see this, is this is going to be the front face, and this is going to be the radio cutout, and the dash is going to be flush with the top of it. And then these two sides, there'll be a little mounting bracket that mounts inside up underneath the dash where you'll never see it. So I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to put the radio in it, just kind of set it in there, and then we're going to place it in the car as it is and see how it fits. So I'm going to cut this. I am going to turn the audio off uh, for this because it's going to be loud. 
So we'll have a little sweet music playing while I work my magic. All right, so we just, what we'll do now is we'll just cut out this section, which is for the radio. And we'll stick it all in there. We'll see how this part fits. And hey, you know what? I think I'm going to use a jigsaw on this one. All right. So there's that piece and the radio is right here. So I can show you how that's going to just, oop, ooh, they got dusty. How that's going to drop in perfectly. I think I need to trim a little bit out. Yep, it's a little snug at the bottom here. So I'll just trim that out just a little bit with the jigsaw. That'll drop right in there. We'll be on our way. As you can see, it fits in there really nice, perfect cut. And I am going to carpet this panel. So it's just going to be a really nice finish when it's done. But you can get an idea how that's going to look. I'm going to put this in the car. I'm just going to mock it up and see where this is going to sit. I'll bring you with me in just a second. Be right back. All right, so we're back. What I've got is the uh, radio mounted to the panel that you saw me cut in the last segment. So what I've got here is... And let me see if I can get a little zoom on this. Hopefully I can. I'm just going to angle my camera down. There we go. And we'll zoom in on this. And I'm going to try to focus up. That gives you a little idea where it's going to sit. Right under the radio, right over the hump. And I'm going to cut the little indentation right here. And I'll just slide in here. Right in here. I'm just going to cut a little bit out. So that it just kind of, so I can kind of push this back and kind of flatten this panel out a little bit, uh, a little bit more. So I'm going to just figure out where I want that cut to be now. And I'm going to just test fit it a few times just to make sure it's right. And then I will put it back in here and then I will figure out exactly how my side panels are going to look, or at least this one. And like I said, it's just going to be the same on the other side. Hey, we're back. So, All right. So I did a couple little adjustments. And I came to a little bit of a conclusion here that I think you can see how it's sitting there. I put a little angle on the bottom edge over the transmission hump. I uh, angled it so that it fit nice and flush. So that, that fits really nice. And with a little carpeting, it's going to be great. And um, I've decided what I'm going to do here is I am going to use this console because I kind of kind of had a thought. Um, my wife is going to be driving this car and the seat's going to be moved back and forth. And the way I had this designed is that I was going to have a, a lower section that was going to go all the way back. And I think if I'm going to put forward facing speakers in here, four inch speakers, I don't really want drinks right up against it. So what I'm going to do is just uh, put some side panels on it as is. So it's going to end pretty much where this MDF panel is now. And so I'll cut two panels and I'll put those together. And I think that's going to be about it. I'll carpet it. I'll put the speakers in the front. Still haven't decided on the speakers yet. I got to get those. So this video is going to be over the course of a week or so. But I am going to uh, figure out how my side panels are going to look now. And when those are done, uh, we'll put the whole thing together without carpeting on it. And you'll see what that product looks like next. So All right. So we made some progress. And I want to bring you up to date here. So what I did first is I created a template to go with our front piece. And this is basically just the template for this side and a template for this side. Then I transferred that onto my MDF, which will be attached here and attached here like this. Of course, the radio is going to go in the middle. So what I'm going to do now is drill a few pilot holes uh, so I can screw all these together and then I'm going to test fit uh, and see how everything fits in there. And then I probably will run a brace somewhere through the middle here, um, down near the bottom somewhere, just to give it a little bit more rigidity. I think it'll probably be okay without that. But 
Why not? We'll see how it fits in there. We'll see how sturdy it is. And then we'll go from there. So I'm just going to drill a few pilot holes and see what happens. Be right All right, we're back. So what I did is I, like I said, I transferred the template that I made uh, to two side pieces. Had already cut this, as you saw, the front piece that we test fit. And I put a little angled edge on it so it sits on a transmission hump real nice. A few screws, countersunk. Um, I'm going to place this in the car. All right, so we're going to test fit this now. I'm going to get in on the driver's side so you guys can see a little bit better. Oh, and the door's locked. Yep, that's preparation at its finest here at Krusty Customs Garage. You know, because everybody enjoys just listening to me talk oh, while I struggle to get the key in the door lock. Let's see how all of this sits in there. This is either going to be like a smashing success or you guys are going to laugh. So, let's uh, nudge this up. Oh, man. Dude and dudettes. I don't even think I'm going to touch these bottom pieces here. I don't think I'm going to touch those at all. This is pretty freaking awesome, if I do say. Oh, man. Let me know what you guys think of this. I'm going to put a speaker, like a four-inch speaker here and a four-inch speaker here. It's just going to be two. It's, this isn't going to be one in any sound competitions. This is mainly just so we don't do anything to the aesthetics. We don't do anything permanent to damage this interior because it, even though my, I, I got the ashtray, I have the knobs, they're in the garage. I'm super psyched. Let me just put the radio in here and see if we can get that all to fit. I'm not touching that console. I'm going to leave it exactly as it is and carpet it. I think it looks freaking great. And give you a little idea. All right, well, that's good. So that'll give you an idea of kind of what the finished product is going to look like. Um, I'm super psyched that it doesn't foul the, the, the accelerator pedal at all. I have plenty of room. Um, I have about an inch and a half between my foot and the console, which is great. And speaker here, and then I have enough room to put a USB here or maybe somewhere in here. I'll put a USB eventually in there. So I think what I'm going to do now is uh, bask in the glory. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with how this is this has turned out. Man, this is great. Okay. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this part of the video. Uh, when we come back, uh, this will be carpeted and just ready to roll. Anyway, so we showed you the uh, console fitted in the car. Fits awesome. I'm so psyched. It's great. So what I did is I just, I've got some old school Cove speakers. What I did is figured out the diameter. I'm going to mount these from behind using the four screws. I'm going to carpet everything really nice. And then what I'm probably going to end up doing is putting a little pair of tweeters up here. And the reason why I'm doing this is quite simply, I'm a cheap ass and I don't want to spend any money on speakers. So I'm going to have a couple little crossovers hidden behind the console. Tweeter, tweeter, four inch, four inch, radio mounted on top. Done deal. So what we're going to do now is just jigsaw out, uh, just going to jigsaw out these holes for <coughs> Red Bull. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love me some Red Bull. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is just, let me move these out of the way so they don't get all full of dirt, dust. Alright, so let's get to work. Alright, thankfully we uh thankfully we'll be carpeting this, but just wanted to show you this is just gonna slot in behind. And you can see that's how it's gonna sit. It's gonna be recessed just like that. And the reason why I did that is because I don't have speaker grills for them. And I mean I could put them out front too. Um, either way, they will mount just fine. I actually kind of like the way that fits a little more, so I might rethink that, but probably not. So I'm going to mow out the other side. We will get this carpeted, and yeah, 
I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back with both of them cut out. I'll have my carpeting out here. I'm going to give it a quick wrap, trim it up, smack it, flip it, rub it down. You know, you know the rest. Be right back. The speaker hole is cut. Looks really good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use a little bit of this 3M general trim adhesive, add some black carpet. I had a little scrap piece laying around, ended up being perfect. So <clears throat> it's important, a little pro tip, even though I'm not a pro, I've just used about a million cans of this on headliners, speaker boxes, center consoles, stuff like this, is, wow, if the sprayer actually works, top notch, top notch. Good show. There it is. Okay, so it's important to not only coat the item that you're, the carpeting, and let that tack, it's also super important to spray the actual console itself. And then you give it a good, you know, I usually give it about a minute just to let it kind of get a little sticky. I'll just flip the console down, um, make sure that everything's cool, and then I will flip it on one side, spray it, stick it, spray it, stick it, and then we'll go through the process of trimming out all the holes, wrapping everything real nice and pretty, is that I don't have a, I don't have the cage. So I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna position that in there and exactly how I'm going to mount it uh, to the console itself. So, but I've overcome worse things. So all right, this is about ready. So really all it is is stick it, push it, lift it, I'll just flip it over, and then just smooth the flat surfaces down. Make sure everything sticks. Really easy, you know, it's really not difficult. And then all I do is just come over to the side panel here and do the same thing again. Just spray the wood down. spray and let it sit a little bit more there you go so we'll let that sit for a minute <clears throat> yeah the reason why you do this is I mean and I use I use the good better quality stuff I have used this brand as well you can get them both at local parts stores let me just check to make sure that's in the shot beautiful it is so, I've used this before, and the one thing it says here, and I'm hopefully you can read this, is it says heavy-duty headliner and carpet adhesive. I'm really sorry, Permatex, but I've done headliners with this glue. It is not adequate. Uh, it does not stay up for very long. Um, the level two or stage two 3M general trim adhesive is awesome. It sticks real nice. It stays stuck. I've done headliners 15 years ago that are still that are still up today. So yeah. So I'm just gonna stick this side now. The wifey is here. She's entered Krusty Customs Garage. Say hi. Hi. It, I, the mic is here. So if you are, I'm sure they heard. And she, now she's talking softer for some reason. All right. So we've done the front and this side, and we'll just flip it over to the other side. Pretty simple, you know. Then you just let it sit. That's about it. So you've already seen how I did the other side, so what I'll do is we'll take a pause for the cause now. Um.